I, I, I have not form, attended what they call a law school. I attended a law enforcement school uh, back in 1981, uh, just for a very, very, very short period. And what I learned in that law school, of course, uh, they were teaching police tactics, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, mm-hmm. is basically the how you use the Constitution, because you can't support and defend the Constitution without using it. See, that, that I don't think people look at it like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're going to support and defend the Constitution, it doesn't mean that you go and find a document called the Constitution and then stand there with a gun and don't let anybody close to it. Mm-hmm. And that's not supporting and defending the Constitution. That might be <laughs> one way of doing it, but that's not the way that I think it's intended to be used. Yes. Uh, just stand before it with a gun and say, nobody comes close to this Constitution, or I'll shoot them. So how do you support and defend the Constitution, logically speaking? By using it. If you're not using it, you're not supporting it and defending it. Okay. That is my interpretation. Right. So therefore, I came to the conclusion that, hey, you use it. Now, you use what parts? The parts that will work for you. Because it's designed to help the individual, particularly what they call the amendments. And so I went straight to the Fifth and the Fourteenth Amendment, which I say, you know, a third good marshal, the attorney, yes, uh, and a, a justice, uh, he used it a lot. Fifth and Fourteenth Amendments. And that's about due process and equal protection of the law. Mm-hmm. And I recommend that everybody uses that. When you okay. start talking about law, go straight to the Fifth and Fourteenth Amendments because that will cover most things before you branch out into the other ones.